This video will show you how the price close versus TMA indicator works in MetaTrader 4 and we open up a chart in question and we run our custom indicator and it's this one, the price close versus TMA string. What that does is basically um, return two scores, one for the base currency and one for the counter currency and you can define either the score to be in uh, in absolute position um, values or in points and we can pretty much determine whether all the currencies of the base or counter are bullish or bearish based on where the close is in regard to the triple exponential moving average for that period that we've set so we go in and add our inputs. So I'm interested in the 100 uh, period of the 30 minute chart because we're on the 30 minute and this will be different for each period that you've opened in of the chart. So 100 period of position. Run that. It will basically give you two results um, in this window. And it will basically just tell you you know, for you know this bar or any bar, um, currently we've got you know, say for example this one a minus one and minus six um, score. So that's what it is there. Um, that basically just means where the price is in relation to the Tema, um, and the Tema is another free custom indicator that you can download and basically you know if the base currency is bigger than the counter currency that means we've got a more bullish picture in front of us now we can change that to be um, in points Points is basically uh, the number of points f uh, away from the Tema. Um, so, uh, so basically just a, a difference of points and it uh, combines all currencies in question. Those currencies come from a defined list which are, are behind the scenes and is not editable at the moment but it's essentially, you know, the AUD will be all the specific Australian dollar pairs that are in MT4 and the USD will be a specific set of USD pairs that are used for this calculation. So so the points um, parameter versus the position basically gives you how strong um, the movement was in points with regard to the price um, of close and the timber. So as you can see here we had some very strong USD movement here and hence the AUD USD rate dropped and then we shot up again um, in, in terms of the number of points and we've got a little bit of weakness here in AUD um, so it's really good indication of the velocity of point movements between the price close and the timmer for each bar. Thank you.